Thanks for your consideration of my comments, which I am calling comments from a very sick orange-haired puppy. When I was a kid in Queens, I was always mean and insulting to everyone, including people who had been or might have been my friends. Likewise, when I was a kid, I lied a lot and projected the mean things I was doing onto others. I blamed them for what I myself was doing. It was a very successful technique. I got good at it. One of the other things I did was to do destructive things that would damage everyone around me, but would help me achieve my own goals. I didn't care if it hurt them. People thought this trait was pathological, especially my niece Mary. I'm now much older, although perhaps less rational. I still do these very same things. Democrats and the Democrat press like to call me out for those things. But I don't care. My base still loves me. And that's enough for me. Lots of psychologists have tried to pin various labels on me. These labels include narcissism. Narcissists prioritize their own interests, and that may lead to destructive actions to achieve their goals. Many people believe I'm a narcissist, but I don't accept that. They also say I exhibit antisocial behavior. People with antisocial behavior engage in destructive conduct and disregard the well-being of others. That's certainly not me. They say I'm impulsive. Impulsivity can also lead to destructive actions, especially if the person with a lack of impulse control acts on immediate desires without considering the consequences. I deny that. There's also Machiavellianism. This is characterized by manipulative behavior and a focus on self-interest. People with this trait may also engage in destructive actions to achieve their personal goals. That's not me. One of the things I've been bragging to the press about is that I have derailed the bilateral deal between Mike Johnson and Joe Biden. They reached this deal to solve the problems at the border and resume the aid to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. By blowing up that deal, I really did a job. On them, on Congress, and on the country. And I did it only to make Joe Biden look bad for the election. I'm proud of myself for this kind of behavior. I don't care if people criticize me about it, like so many things I did during my term in office and in connection with the big lie and the insurrection. But I'm going to keep on doing these things. You can bet on it. They think I'm unhinged. But I'm going to ignore and avoid all the indictments, judgments, trials, sentences, and conspiracies Joe Biden is plotting against me. I'm going to show them that I am all-powerful and I can do anything I want and win for president. As soon as I get back into office, I'll really show them who's boss. Thanks for your consideration of my comments, which I am calling comments from a very sick, orange-haired puppy.